In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export a map layout to a PDF using ArcGIS Pro. This is a pretty easy tool once you know how to use it and can be incredibly helpful for making a small, easily portable map that you can share with others and just view or print without any difficulty. What you're going to need to do is make sure that you have your map open and I'm going to start by taking a bookmark. Uh, this bookmark is what we're going to use to decide the area that's going to show up when we export to PDF. So I've already got a pretty nice little chunk of this map already selected. So what I'm going to do is click here on the bookmarks button and I can go ahead and click new bookmark or manage if you want to edit an existing one. What we're going to do is we're going to click new today. And we'll just give it a test name. We can get rid of it later. And there we go. Now if we go to our bookmarks, we have test bookmark. And we could zoom and move to anywhere on the map. And if we clicked on that in the bookmarks bar, it would bring us right back there. So now that we have that, we are going to want to head over to the insert tab. And we want to select a new layout. We're going to want it to be pretty big. So you're going to want to choose custom page size. And what I did earlier and had some good luck with is I went to 200 with each. And then you're going to want to click OK. And here we go. Now we have our layout, but there's no map in it. So to get a map in there, we want to head over to the Insert tab, and we can select Map Frame. This will show us a list of all of our bookmarks and the current extent we're at on the map. So we'll just go ahead and click the one I want. And what you do is drag from one corner, it'll snap to the edges so you don't have to worry about being too precise, down to the other. And then once that loads real quick, ta-da, we can see we have our map right there on this layout. So we can even zoom in. And we can see all of our features, everything's looking good. Now once we're sure it looks good and we're happy with it, this is where we can hit the next step. We can go over to Share, and then we can click Layout right over this Export button in the Share tab. This will open this page where we can choose a few options. Most of these we won't have to deal with too much today, but one th the things you want to make sure are set is you want to make sure that you have it as a PDF, and then we can choose where it will download and give it a name. I'm going to keep the defaults for now, but just so you know, you can change it to whatever you want and move it to whatever folder is easiest for you to find it in. Then we're going to scroll down a bit. And we have this option here, Layers and Attributes. This is a pretty big one. I'm going to make two separate maps to show off today. And the first one, we're going to choose None. What this is going to do is this is going to make the smallest size map the fastest to load, easiest to use, but nothing will have its attributes available on it, the features. Like, check this out. We're going to export this real quick. And this can take a second, especially if you choose to do it with attributes. But as you can see, it wasn't too bad. Now we can view the map. And here we are. We see we have an easily viewed PDF file. This can be used or opened using any PDF viewer, including Google Chrome or Bing, if you want. But the one thing about this version of the map is we can click on at or the features, but nothing comes up because they don't have any attributes, so they're not really selectable. This is just for a view-only map if you want to give someone one of those. But now, if we take the same map and we choose PDF layers and feature attributes, then we can hit export. And this one's going to take a long time, so I'll probably skip once I finish talking and we can meet here again. But this will have all the attributes for every feature on the map ready for you right on the PDF. So there we go. Now our export has completed, so we can view that map as well. And here we are. Now, if we zoom in on this one, check this out. Oh, the ones with attributes are a little slower to load than the ones without, which makes sense. It's got a lot more to load. Now, now that we're zoomed in, I'm going to right click and I can select this object data tool. And then what I can do with that open is I can go ahead and click on any of these features. 
And it's, like I said, it's going to take a second. It's figuring out all the features. And here we are. It'll open this window on the bottom left here when we click on one of the features, showing us all of the attributes that we would normally see in ArcGIS Pro. Easy peasy, easy to view. And these are also still very easy to share with others, much easier than sharing a full map package.